Allen County health officials say it's been a slow start to the syringe services program. That program allows people to exchange dirty needles for new ones. And now the Indiana General Assembly is considering a bill that would make it easier for other counties to get similar programs. News Channel 15's Kelly Roberts has more in today's story for your well-being. About 30 people have visited the syringe services program here on Oxford Street in Fort Wayne, but they aren't just getting clean needles. Several have been treated for skin infections, and some are even getting help with their addictions. Our goal is to reduce transmission of an infectious disease. At the end of last year, a public health emergency was declared in Allen County, allowing the health department to open a syringe services program. The goal for drug users most susceptible to diseases spread through used needles like hepatitis C to exchange their used needles for new ones. Health Commissioner Dr. Deborah McMahon says it's been a slow start to the program, partly because people who would use it may not trust it. There's a lot of stigma associated with substance use disorder and addiction, and so I think there are a lot of people that, that are afraid they might be seen. McMahon isn't surprised by the start, but says it's given them time to ramp up their services, including adding a nurse who can give an optional, free medical exam. McMahon says the nurse has sent people to the ER with severe skin infections, but is also able to give antibiotics on site. A substance abuse and mental health counselor has also been added into the mix. McMahon says about 10% of the visitors have used that service. Uh, one person actually has been referred on to treatment. Indiana lawmakers are seeing the benefits of these programs. Right now, nine counties have needle exchange programs. The House of Representatives approved a bill giving counties and cities the power to create a program without getting approval from the state health commissioner. However, Attorney General Curtis Hill says... He opposes this bill. Reporting in Fort Wayne, Kelly Roberts, News Channel 15.